understand what you're saying. It takes time. It's difficult. But I just, I'm, I'm trying to understand the mindset. For example, after the war ended, quite soon afterwards, your previous foreign minister said that he believed that many of the Tamils from the north could be considered, and these are his words, considered to have been with the LTTE, with the Tamil Tigers, at least, he said, mentally. Is that a feeling that you share, that there is a still a, a basic suspicion of the motives, of the inclinations of a good number of the Tamil people? I, I, I could say that there are a uh, fair number who had, you know, these people were brainwashed. That uh, the LTT or uh, separatist uh, ideas were given to these people. They, because they were virtually under the dictatorship of, there was a dictatorship. They were under uh, Prabhakaran's rule. So there can be a lot of people who still believe on these ideas. When your military spokesman after the war said, people will be able to return to their home areas, but, and I'm quoting, we have to see that activities in the whole area are being monitored. Sure. Not only in North and East. But that's, look at, that's, look that's, at, a, that's, a, that's a somewhat uh, scary concept, is it not, okay. for the Tamil people? I, I, I'll ask you a good question. Can you move from a hotel to hotel in London without observed by uh, your security people? We don't have that technical <laughs> ability. Your, I know, your uh, do you think the government do you think the Tamil is, people monitoring, is it, monitoring the telephones. Do you think but the Tamil the, people will see it that way, that they will see the presence of Sri Lankan security forces on their roads, in their towns and cities, as akin to moving across London? It sounds to me like it's something no, very different. No, what I'm saying, our people have suffered, irrespective of whether Sinhalese, Tamil or Muslim, whether Christian, Buddhist or whoever, we have suffered for 30 long years because of this terrorism. So remember this, you know, over, overnight we can't change from one uh, situation to the other. But, uh, are you saying but, then, are you saying then for, the mo for the moment you're not prepared to consider federalism changing that is, the arrangements that, by which this country is run? Obviously federalism is out. I mean, as a, I'm not the uh, spokesman for politicians. Nobody is prepared to talk about federalism and all those things because that is not for our. We have agreed, according to the constitution, it's a unitary state. That okay. We don't, we well, don't that, talk about all those things. Well, you, but, couldn't, you couldn't be clearer on definitely. that. Definitely. Mr. Secretary, let me look at another aspect of this. You talk about the 30 years of war. If there is to be real reconciliation, as your brother, the president, has called for, would you agree that that means a full and independent investigation of war crimes, both committed by the Tamil Tigers and by your government, as a means of achieving justice and I, accountability? I, I don't think, I don't believe in going back. What is, we have to go forward. You know, put these things, I don't know why. Nobody wants to go back and, you know, uh, keep well, with, on. With, with respect, many people want to go back, people who've lost husbands, sons, fathers, they want to go back. They want See, a sense that the, there is justice the at the end of, of this atrocities, war. atrocities, brutality committed by the LTTE. Now, if you go into these details, all these details, you know, we are, but that's we are why again, people, you know, just that's imagine. That's why people want an accounting many, both of what they did many, and what you did. No, I can tell you one thing. Mm. Our military was a highly disciplined military. If you, there is not a single case of soldiers marching into a village and indiscriminately firing and killing any people. Well, what about there the, are 30, the 30 Let instances me, of attacks on hospitals or makeshift hospitals no, between December 2008 no, and May 2009? No, see, you are, you are completely uh, misunderstood. Uh, you know, it, it's wrong interpretation. This war crime is when you walk into a place, you use indiscriminate fire without any control, killing innocent civilians, and, uh, or, or walking into a place, raping. This has never happened. No, no 
a complaint of this nature the, the because Geneva, we had... The Geneva Conventions to which your government is bound are quite clear. Hospitals must be protected yes. unless they are used to commit hostile acts which uh, are outside of humanitarian functions. Yes. And even then, a clear warning and a yes. deadline must be yes. given. There That's are instances only... I have read report after report from international agencies from the United Nations and from the ICRC which all suggest that you did not meet those very basic no. rules of war. We have gone beyond the basics. Tell me any country, there are a lot of see, uh, today Afghanistan is there, Iraq is there, even the British troops are there, all the NATO. Tell me any, any place where on their own they have declared safe zones. We declared safe zones. But you didn't we, respect them. Why not? We, uh, I don't know why not, but the evidence is clear. You did not respect the safe zones. You shelled the hospitals we even inside. All. You know, we, we declared, we, we imposed restrictions on use of heavy weapons, airstrikes. Nowhere in the world anybody has done this. But these are self-imposed. Self-imposed. Mr. Secretary. But these are, these it, are very important important aspects. You Mr. Secretary, I feel your passion and I feel your conviction. If you are so sure that none of your men committed the crimes that they have been accused of by many different international organizations and indeed governments which say that these, the evidence is credible and well substantiated, if you are so sure of your case, why not accept the demand for an independent, I'm, I'm internationally ready. backed we are a, investigation? We are an independent country. We have the ability to have investigate all these things. So you're at, even now, despite the demands of the UN Secretary General, you are not prepared to accept any international scrutiny of the Sri Lankan security forces' behaviour in the no, last weeks of the There is no necessity for that. There is no necessity. From the beginning, I have told. The president has now uh, again he he elect, um, uh, elect, uh, you know appointed a committee to go in to learn the lessons from these things. Th those things are there. And there we must leave it. But Tabia <laughs> Rajapaksa, thank you very thank much you. indeed for being on Hard Talk. Thank you very much. Nice <laughs> meeting. The Sri Lankan government says it's shown the world that terrorism can be crushed by force. The country's northern battlefields, where many thousands lost their lives, are now silent. But peace came at a terrible cost. And no one can be sure how this story will end.